Hello there you sexy beans buddy, we're here and it's a pleasure to see you. Welcome to another Halloween themed episode of Scarab Mother View Boobs and Lubes. Now my two cute followers decided to play some pranks and scare some of the residents of Whiterun. But for me, I prefer to get my free candy from trick or treating. So we're gonna need a sexy new costume to get extra candy if you know what I mean. Fox 49 by Fox 6000 is a pair of sexy outfits that is bound to get us plenty of lollipops and Tootsie Rolls. The first outfit is a very slutty female vampire outfit. The vampire outfit is mostly dark gray in color and it sports a very short skirt just how I like it. it, it it's such a tease and it's such a stereotypical armor for a vampire woman to wear. Now I like the little bat wings on the heels of the boots it's very cute i like it and the most stereotypical part is probably the popped up giant collar and uh, oh boy oh boy uh, it, it, it's also good for showcasing a pair of big nice jawbreakers <laughs> i'm just kidding now i also love the sexy slit that goes down the side of the outfit now one swipe of a sword will undo everything the vampire outfit is available for UNP body type and it's definitely something that I would wear for Halloween if I was a girl in real life and if I had boobies. The second outfit is some kind of a belly dancer outfit or perhaps an Arabian princess like a Jasmine from the movie Aladdin. Now I guess it could be a pretty good costume for Halloween as well. Uh, the belly dancer outfit has all these tassels hanging and it would be pretty damn cool if someone like put some HDT physics into them and so they could like wave around while you're moving around. That would be awesome. So it seems that a lot of uh, Fox's armor comes in pairs and the belly dancer outfit is also only available for UNP body type. Both armors can be obtained at Fox's shop in Riverwood and we can buy it from the NPC inside the shop. So it appears my followers here are still trying to scare the people in Whiterun. Yeah, scaring beautiful NPCs like Beijing NPCs by RXKX22 which beautifies a few lovely NPCs and make them a little bit more easier on the eyes. Now the first one here is Vex and she's quite the sexy beast here compared to her former self. Now she has those sexy scars on her cheeks. You know girls like guys with scars so well girls with scars can be sexy too. You know guys might like girls with scars. Next we have Sapphire and I would love, I would love to cherish this little gemstone here. It is like many of Beijing's uh, changes, it makes her look a bit more young and better looking. The next one is Rake and she is now a very good looking cougar. <laughs> she has that very aged look just like her vanilla version but it looks like she took care of her skin like use uh, like like some moisturizer or something. The fourth NBC of uh, is is Irilith and she is actually pretty good looking even as an elf in Skyrim. Oh my goodness, her original version was scary as fuck. Now if only more elves would look more like uh, Irilith right here. The fifth NPC is Hoda and I would say that she is just another beautiful woman in this mod. She has a very mysterious feeling to her but trustworthy at the same time, I love it. The last NPC is Lisette, and for some reason she has the most cheerful of the faces. I, 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 I'm not quite sure why, but it, it seems like she just wants to smile all the time. She, like she has that very subtle smile going on. When the mod is activated, there is a launcher where we can install all the girls or we can choose to pick uh, which girl to install. After that, we can choose if we want to install them with wrinkles or without wrinkles. And finally, we can choose between UNP and CBBE body types. When we're going trick-or-treating, we want to make sure we're not going to a wrong neighborhood, a bad neighborhood, or a cheap neighborhood. Like Blood Chill Hollow, a Halloween Deem mod 2015 by Speedy Gun one and it's a little Halloween Deem dungeon to get us started. The Blood Chill Hollow can be found to the west of Silent Moon's camp. Once inside, we fight a few monsters like this werewolf here. There are a few ghosts to fight like at this altar right here and then on this pumpkin patch. Yes, there has to be pumpkins in a Halloween dungeon. Of course, there is a graveyard. Again, every Halloween dungeon must have a graveyard. Now, uh, in the graveyard, there's this cabin and once we're inside, we have this eerie room. And then when we go deeper, 
we go into this chamber in the basement yes this is some kind of a watery flooded basement and there are a few items in this mod that we can find as well and i'll leave you guys up to it if you want to download this mod to find out yourself Okay, so where should be the next area we should go trick-or-treating in? Oh, great, come on! Oh no, looks like we have some pumpkin guardian minions from the previous episode that kind of wants revenge because we kind of killed them. So it looks like they're trying to send us into a dungeon to punish us. So if you're interested in a huge dungeon, we have something fantastic coming up. We have Medieval, Hero of Galumir by Corin00 and it's a mod that will definitely make you download it after seeing me playing it for just a few minutes. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game for Skyrim and then we're gonna start out in an unfamiliar area. So let's become Sir Daniel Fortes in the race menu and this character is actually from a game called Medieval and this is the main character and yeah just like the main character he's missing an eye <laughs> and he's a skeleton yes yes yes. So let's talk to the first NPC right here yes, and um, yes, hello. Oh yes, some custom voice acting. I like this. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I get a little distracted. Hmm. You look puzzled, my friend. Is it your first time here? Oh yes, this is my first time here. It looks like a party here. Yeah. So I guess you want some explanation of what's going on. I will try to keep it short so we won't spend all eternity here. Do you see those altars in the corners? You have to activate them to become part of the story they represent. Admittedly, this doesn't explain much, but I'm sure you will understand once you try it for yourself. Okay, so right here, it looks like this This must be the altar. Now, next to the altar, we have a book that we can read on more information um, of the story, but let's just go right in. Oh goody, we're waking up in another unfamiliar place here. Alright, so let's do some little exploring and hopefully we're not gonna bump into enemies already. And uh, let's see... Ooh, wait, 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 who said that? See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shroud of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarek and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. Oh, the voice acting is just so good and professional. Oh man, that, that is just awesome! Now, now this is a rather comical and hilarious. It, it gets still, it gets funny sometimes. Holy moly, it's Fortescue himself. Oh, I hope you don't mind us sniffing around your place a little. We hope to find some valuables. Uh huh. Well, there was none. Only a simple sword and a mere copper shield. Oh, okay, so I think this right here is our starting gear. Yep, yes, yes, yes it is. So we have a sword, a shield, and we have a key to open this door right here to get us into the next area. And this next area, you won't be disappointed in. The next area is a graveyard, and it's full of surprises, and there's a lot of triggers. So let's take a brief look around. So right here, uh, oh, it looks like it says medieval. There's a sign here that says medieval. Time for a photo op right here. Oh, nice! <laughs> Who is here? Welcome back to your beloved Galomir. Some stinking death has risen up to dance with the life is living, and they want to do it. Wait a oh, second! I'm, I'm dead already! What? What is he talking about? I'm already dead. Ah, poor guy, look at him, he's trying to crawl his way out of his grave! Uh, I feel bad for him, man. Can, can, can I talk to this guy too? Oh, I can! <laughs> You must be out of shape after a hundred years lying on your back. Don't worry, we all need to get the grips with our new lease of life. Wait, I wait. I don't get it. Is that supposed to be? Oh wait, because I'm dead and I'm in a coffin and I lay down when I'm laid to rest. Okay, I got it. And wait a second, did that coffin just pop out? Pop, pop out of the ground? 
I think it did. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What's it? Oh, looks like we have our first enemy. Oh, oh, he's a zombie. Stab him in the, stab him in the head. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, oh, that's so. Oh, hey, guys, take a look at this. This is so romantic. Oh, hey, girl, you want to come with me? You want to ditch this guy? You know, I got a way bigger bone than your boyfriend here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You two lovebirds, you know, uh, you know, uh, live happily ever after, I guess. Now, this map here is huge, and I do mean it's huge. This graveyard and the forest just goes on forever, it, 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 for a very long time at least. And i trying to load all of it right now as I'm flying through the air. Now, there's so many triggers and NPCs and enemies to fight, and this just keeps going, and there is an a destination that we ultimately end up at and I gotta say the mod author put in many hundreds of hours just on the map design and it seems to be very similar to the medieval game like the pathing and how everything's set up so I think that's pretty good pretty cool so finally we end up at a mausoleum which escalates things even more and there's plenty of uh, additional voice acting and I'm not gonna spoil anything so let's just say that there's many cool different rooms and caverns that we can explore and then finally we get to fight the final boss now I'm not gonna go more into details now after we finish the game we leave we can leave and start Skyrim normally well sort of is sort of normal we start out in Helgen Keep after all hell breaks loose and or or we can actually replay the game and find all these trivial notes right here uh kind of a replay value if you want to be a perfectionist i think we should learn a few different animations just so we can have different styles to fight up enemies so we don't get sent into another dungeon again fnis pcea 2 by foray is a very useful tool to add and change animations while in game so how this works is once we have the mod install we go to the mod configuration menu and then we go and select fnis pcea 2 and right here, we can choose from 7 preloaded animations or animation packs right here. We can choose to activate any of these animations, all of them, or whichever combinations you'd like. So right now, uh, take note of my character's idol. And we're gonna go back to the mod menu and let's go down to pretty idol and refresh. Now our idol has changed. Now if you don't notice anything, um, we can go back to the mod menu and use this other pretty idol now this one is going to be more obvious and refresh ah yes ah look at that now we have our hands on our hips yes a sexy pose for a sexy outfit awesome for the next one take note of how i'm swinging my sword around so let me go and change how my sword attack looks by going to the mod menu again and activating the oriental sword animation ah look at that oh look at that look cool it looks like I'm, I'm attacking like a samurai or a ninja or something pretty cool i mean the swinging action is just change everything is just different that's so awesome the mod has another function and we see like an animation that we like we can add it into the menu and i'm going to show you in general how to do it might as well right so let's see i'm going to go and look for animation i'm going to pick out uh this one right here pretty jump animations by dual sun and uh, oh look oh <laughs> it's my video right here from my previous review <laughs> anyways so let's download it and make sure it's a manual download because we want the raw files after that we open it and we're gonna use style one now this is going to be important now after we go to the directory where Skyrim is installed we need to make sure we install into the correct directory so basically what I want to do is I want to use the file pathing of the raw file and match it to the pathing of my Skyrim directory so uh, long story short it's going to be under data meshes actors character and animations so once we're at this directory uh we can see fnis pca2 so we're gonna open it and we see a bunch of different folders right here uh one two three four five six seven seven folders so uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make another new folder and i'm gonna name it chronologically so in this case i'm gonna name it like uh let's say nine pretty idols so um, what we do is we get the animation from the RAR and then we drag it into this new folder. Once we do that, we're going to make sure to run the FNIS generator like we usually do every time we add or remove uh, animations for Skyrim. 
Okay, so right now we're back in the game. Take note of my jumping animations right here. And then after that, we're gonna go go ahead and open up the mod configuration menu again and go to PCEA2 menu. There it is, pretty jump idols. So let's select it and then let's refresh it and let's check it out, shall we? I really love this animation despite how flashy it is. I, I like it just because it's flashy and sometimes at the right angles you can see a little bit of underwear. I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. Ah uh, yes, this is a very useful tool, very very useful tool to change between animations and it's very easy to use. Anyways, I am Vaddy Wood, thanks for watching this uh, Halloween special of Skyrim Mod Review Boobs and Lubes. Now there's probably going to be a dirt Halloween episode coming out this week and that's going to be uh, something to look forward to. Oh yeah, Fallout 4 is coming out pretty soon and I can't wait and I hope to put out some Fallout 4 videos for you to enjoy. Hopefully you, you guys are going to come around and uh, take a look at them, that would be fantastic. Well then, uh, well then, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy. Oh yeah, one last thing, the tentacle room in Medieval is like the best room in the mod, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing my followers here, my adult followers here, and uh, we're gonna have some tentacle fun, we're gonna have some Japanese fun, if you guys know what I mean. I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding! Well, not really. Off screen, I mean. <laughs> uh, well then, <laughs> stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.